Dave looking for Greenwood. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Hand off. Turbin trying to get to the corner. Not going to be able to do it. The Rams defense gets the stop. Welcome to the Ram Report. Looking at a fire deep. Has a man wide open. It's Kaufman out at the 30 yard line. He makes a diving catch. Hi and welcome to another edition of the Ram Report where we talk Colorado State Ram Athletics. I'm your host Brian Roth and well in this edition of the program we'll take a look back at the year that was in Colorado State Ram football. Of course it was a, an adventure all season long but it, it was a season that got off to such a bright start as Colorado State would win three of their first four games including a crucial road win in the season opener on the road at New Mexico. What time is it? Get it up! What time is it? Only a big one to kick off this season. And down he goes in the backfield. It was C.J. James. Our, our defense just stepped up and caused a fumble, and it was huge for us. And they play, they play great for us. So. CSU has the ball. The defense comes up with another huge turnover. You know, we just kept believing in each other. We told offense we had their back, and we, you know, it was a team effort at the end, but we all came through for each other. Here comes Cappy. He hammers Austin fumble. You know that, you know, we believe in each other. You know, we know our assignments. We practice everything. We love each other. We know what we have to do. So we're just going to pick up each other. If something goes wrong, we're going to pick up each other up and get them next time. Thomas play fake. He wants to throw on first down. Fires to the near side. Caught by the fullback Brown. And our defense kept us in the game. We were, we were efficient in the passing game. Uh, they took everything deep away. Well, Crockett Gilmore comes down with the ball. Touchdown. My check downs weren't open and had pressure and throw it up to Crockett. I mean, he's 6'6", six, 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 to whatever and he can jump. Okay, left side. He's in for a CSU touchdown. I saw the hole and I just went into it as fast as I possibly can because I know we needed that touchdown. I think we could have got a couple more, you know, getting some of them first game jitters out of the way and Hopefully, I mean, I, I know we'll develop into a much better offense than we showed today. I really knew we were going to win that game. I mean, we kept believing in each other. Uh, stuff didn't go our way the whole game. Uh, we made some mistakes, but we, we uh, really stayed together. Number one goal on our six goals was beating New Mexico, and we did. Stretch, I always talk about starting fast, and that's exactly what we did. Defense did a good job giving the offense a chance to score, and we took advantage of it on the first play, and in the second play, we scored. That ball nearly intercepted, and indeed it is. Picked off by Colorado State. I mean, it was just a good break on the ball. You know, I saw the ball up there, and I made put myself in a good position to pick it off. Now he's going to run. Upfield, big hole to 35, to the 40, beat across the 40. I feel like in the first half, we played lights out, offense, defense, special teams, everything. I mean, that first half was probably the best half of football we've ever played. Looking deep over the middle, there's Lee Club, has it inside the 15. Watching these young guys like Charles Lovett and, and Lee Club making plays is, is that's, that's so so cool to me. Uh, seeing them come in as true freshmen and playing like they're fifth year seniors. It's deflected and it's intercepted. They preach an issue of believe. Um, I feel everybody believed me to win up, you know, being able to look at the scoreboard and see, you know, 31-0, um, knowing that we can sh shut teams out and we can score the football. Fires over the middle, has his man, it's Matt Yem inside the 30, and he'll have the first down. Hey, we're rooting for each other, it's all a team thing, and definitely we want to get these W's, and you believe in playing as a team, so that's really all that counts is playing as a team. One man can't win the game. Colorado State and Utah State. Rams need to create a few breaks for themselves. You need to generate a few turnovers here this evening. What time is it? Now he fumbles the football. CSU has fallen on the ball. We just gotta look back and say, hey, never give up. When we're down, I mean, we'll just just look back at this game and just know, just believe in it and never give up. We can win it. Oh, and it was Mike Garakbo spins him to the turf. We should go into the next game knowing that we're capable of pretty much beating anybody, you know. You know that's a good football team. You know, Utah State is a great football team. And um, to come out here and beat them on the road, that's a big one. Play fake. Thomas looking to pass downfield, going to fire into the flat. That's Gilmore. It's caught for a first down as he spun down. We got the win. That's all that mattered. We just got to keep working, and uh, we can be a pretty good team. Uh, I think the sign of a, of a good football team is winning when you're not at your best, and that's what we did tonight. And down he goes back at the 39-yard line, Zach 
teach it. Our guys lined up, they played, they, they did what we had to do um, throughout the game. Um, you know, and, and again, they, I mean, that's a tough, good football team, and they run the ball as good as anybody we play. Shaq, man, he played an awesome game. He played complete from first to fourth quarter all the way through. Overtime, he played a great game. You know, um, just being on the toe, we had been preaching turnover at practice all the time. And I was telling everybody, we're going we gonna to get one in the end zone, you know, to this, this game. And Shaquille Barrett will take it in for the touchdown. We just prepare for adversity at all costs. Like in practice, this is all we say, overcome adversity, overcome adversity. And that game was a lot of adversity. But uh, we just stay together as a team and believe through the whole game, man. I guess that's what got his door, just believing in him and standing together as a team. They'll run the toss to Woke again. Woke inside the five. Woke dives to the goal line. He'll be just short. The opportunity's in our hands, and our whole team believed in what we could do. And it was just about believing in each other, going so hard that leaving everything on the fields, and that's what we did. That was the opportunity we took. I don't think they wanted to see our offense again, and they probably figured, hey, we got these guys on their heels a little bit. Let's go score on them. So. We changed up our call for one time the whole game, and it worked. Yeah, what a wild night in Logan, Utah it was as the Rams come away with a double overtime victory. Certainly one of the most dramatic wins in school history. Coming up next here on the Ram Report, we'll reintroduce you to some of those Ram seniors that have had a fantastic career here at Colorado State. That comes up next right here on the Ram Report.